It was an atmosphere of praise and thanksgiving at the old legislative chambers near Government House in Benin City as the Speaker, Mr. Okie, leadership of the Assembly, staff, guests and guest speaker, Evangelist Margaret Abonifo gave thanks to God for a peaceful conduct of the governorship election in the state. In a remark, Mr. Okie said, The state governorship election widely adjudged to be free, fair and credible is an indicator that God spoke for his people. Mr. Okie said, Beyond the election victory, there is the need to partner with the Governor, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, in the task of developing the state. The voice of God has spoken very, very loudly. It is clear that the will of the people is sovereign. It's even greater than the judgment of a court. If the people spoke and reiterated their position loud and clear, establishing Obaseki and voted against those people's interests, it is clear that God has taken a decision and that decision will remain final. It is for you that God found instruments to use in delivering his word. In an exhortation, guest speaker and vision bearer, Family Intercessory Ministries, Evangelist Abonifo said, The session is to thank God for hearing the prayers of his people and confirming his words, which said that the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. She commended the speaker for standing by the governor and his deputy, Comrade Philip Shaibu, in times of crisis, urging him to be magnanimous in victory, forgive his enemies, and continue to support the governor to bring his plans and policies for the development of the state to fruition. What happened in Edo State in September 19th was the Lord's doom. Yes. The speaker was rejected by some, but few remained steadfast. I want to encourage everyone here and ask God to use you. When he was looking for a person in Edo State to use for God, we don't get us our governor. He found honorable king. Your integrity has prayed for you. Your sincerity has prayed for you. Because you never betrayed your the guest speaker and other clergymen later offered prayers for Governor Baseki, his deputy, Comrade Philip Shaibu, the speaker, Mr. Francis Okie, and leadership of the state at various levels. Kingsley Uchebu reporting.